Today we're talking all about our shoulders. In ballet, we reference anything that is done with our shoulders as a palma. And a palma literally means shouldering. So some way, somehow, you're engaging them. <laughs> In other styles of dance, we use our shoulders to accent moves and we have a whole bunch of different fun options to be able to do with them that add another dynamic to our dances. So for starters, your shoulders can be neutral. Whenever you're doing this, all the rest of the alignment still applies. So you should be lengthening up out of your spine all the way up through the top of your head. Your shoulders are able to move up and down. You can do both. You can just isolate one. This is part of our warm-ups usually when we are especially in jazz or hip hop. Your shoulders can also move forward and backward. They can rotate, so they can do a half rotation forward. They can do a half rotation backward. And again, you can do that with both shoulders or just one. You can also do a full rotation forward. And you can do a full rotation backwards. And you can push and pull. One of the things that I'll have some of our dancers do is try for a figure eight. So you scoop side to side. When we're doing the figure eight to give you a side view, when I say side to side, you want to think of a figure eight movement, like the infinity sign going back and forth in that shoulder. To give you a back view of what our shoulders would look like, again, you can have up and down, you can rotate, you see though that the shoulder blades move. Shoulders are also important when we're talking about how we fan them out. So when we're in second, making sure that we're lengthening, we sometimes talk about the fact that we want it to be like wings in the back. You want to make sure that you understand the difference in what is expected of you. Some dances do require you to pull back in the shoulders as though you're able to hold a pencil between the shoulder blades. Others require you to open out. Different types of dances require different things. And if you're given a correction to tighten in the shoulder blades or expand them out, you want to know how your shoulders can move. And know how to correct that. In understanding some of our shoulder placement, we also want to make sure that this kind of ties into our neck movement as well a little bit. So sometimes when we're holding tension, we'll roll our shoulders forward or we can lift them up. Whatever we do, we always want to make sure that our shoulders are down and we're lengthening. In positions where our arms are above our head, it's very easy to want to lift the shoulders and we need to make sure that they stay down. A typical rule of thumb is you should be able to get two or three fingers on the shoulder when your arm is lifted. Reason for this is when we're in front of our audience, they won't be able to see our expressions nearly as well if our arm is covering us. And sometimes there may be choreography that calls for that. But more often than not, your training and the technique aspect of it should train for the shoulders to be down. This allows for better arm mobility, which we will be talking about tomorrow. <laughs> I will see you then.